Do witches run Black Lives Matter? Um, and maybe I'm sharing too much, but we become very intimate with the spirits that we call on regularly, right? Like each of them seems to have a different presence and personality. You know, I laugh a lot with Waikisha, you know, and I didn't meet her in her body, right? Yeah. I met her through this work. It's it's a it's a very important practice. Um, hashtags are for us are way more than a hashtag. It is um, literally almost resurrecting a spirit so they can work through us to get the work that we need to get done. I started to feel personally connected and responsible and accountable to them, um, both from a deeply political place, but also from a deeply spiritual place and um, always you know in, our, in, in my tradition you offer things that that your loved one who passed away would want you know um, whether it's like honey or tobacco or things like that and that's it's so important not just for us to be in direct relationship to our people who've passed but also for them to re know they we, we've remembered them um, I, I believe so many of them work through us. Black Lives Matter uh, is ran by three witches who are lesbian witches. Alicia Garza, Patrice Colors, and Opa Tometi. She's of Nigerian descent. They are all three are part of the Black Boule Seeker Society. And there are witches, they are warlocks in the entire spiritual dogma or doctrine of Black Lives Matter is from the West African religion called Odu Ifa, capital O-D-U, then spacing capital I-F-A. But over 3,000 different religions in Africa or Akibalon is rooted in witchcraft and divination. I feel like in our in our tradition and our traditional practice and people who practice you know traditions from West African um, places, uh, one of the big things is remembering your ancestors. And I feel like part of the the story uh, <clears throat> in the building of BLM was about remembering and and remembering our people not based off of a white supremacist memory, which would be about, you know, slandering them and putting their names in the newspaper and showing their mug shots and, but instead remembering them from the place that their mothers and their fathers and their family would want us to remember them. And even if we didn't know them personally. So these three witches, uh, Alicia Garza, Opa Tometi, okay, and Patrice Colors, are using the psyop of the witchcraft religion of Odu Aifa, which concentrates on six points of demonic possession and demonic influence through demonic performance of what? Libations. Because the term libation means the liquid of darkness. When we come out into the streets and we pray, you know, the first thing that we do when we hear of a murder is we come out, we pray, we pour a libation, we build with the community where um, the person's life was stolen. And it took almost a year for me to realize that this movement is much more than a racial and social justice movement. At its core, it's a spiritual movement because we're literally standing on spilled blood, right? Yeah. And you can't pretend like that's work that's just like some organizing work. That's, you know, that's some serious stuff. Right. They give libations, they pour liquid, what they say, unto the gods of Africa. It's all built on witchcraft. When we say the names, right, so we speak their names, we say her name, say their names, we do that all the time, that you kind of invoke that spirit, and then those spirits actually become present with you. Right. So then Black Lives Matter has 16 chapters in the United States and in Canada, which each chapter represents a name 
of a god or goddess in the Eiffel religion called Odu Eiffel, which has 16 points, 16 chapters of demonic possession. Black Lives Matter, they're operating through both omnikinesis and telekinesis. It's witchcraft. Wherever they go to create mayhem and destruction, they send witches and every um, satellite head Every person of these 16 chapters of Black Lives Matter, they are a witch and a warlock. So with Black Lives Matter, they have molded themselves after a serpentine psychology. All three of these women's women are witches. They're warlocks. Spirituality is at the center of Black Lives Matter. Um, and I think that's not just for us. I feel like so many... Um, leaders and so many organizers um, are deeply engaged in, in a pretty in, um, important spiritual practice. I don't think I could I could do this work without that. I don't think I could do it as long as I've done it and as consistently. Um, it feels like if I didn't do that, it would be antithetical to this work. To defeat Black Lives Matter, to defeat the ANC, you can't defeat these organizations through the barrel of a gun. You can only defeat the ANC in Black Lives Matter through spiritual warfare. In the Bible, if the founders and leaders of Black Lives Matter are in fact communicating and speaking with spirits or entities, who are they talking to? Demons? Or are they just talking to themselves? Whether actual contact is made or not, these sort of practices are forbidden by God, as clearly described in Deuteronomy 18.10-12. There shall not be found among you anyone that useth divination, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. Again, is Black Lives Matter run by witches or just crazy bitches?